Recording in progress. Um, you know, he was right. Uh, we just, just got to continue to do a better job with that. You know, um, it's not too much I can really, you know, say about it. We've been saying it all year, so I don't want to, I shouldn't have to keep saying it, but, you know, he's right. Have you seen any evolution just since the Western Conference Finals when you defended Jokic a certain amount to how he's playing now, how Denver's playing, and just uh, what problems he's Well, I just thought they shot the ball well tonight. Um, he made some good plays. Uh, but other than that, you know, I thought it was, you know, guys like Jeff Green, Highland, uh, those are the ones who really killed us tonight, you know. Um, Uh, just communication, you know. Uh, we got to be on the string, you know. We got to really communicate and talk, you know, especially uh, in transition. They killed us tonight in transition. Killed us tonight with, uh, you know, points in the paint, you know. Uh, even with Joker being on the outside, you know, the other guys was getting in the paint. Uh, so, at some point, we just got to, you know, stand up and, you know, fight back. <clears throat> Dwayne, you guys are a veteran team. Um, a lot of guys that are going to be trying the Hall of Fame someday. Mm-hmm. Um, does that make it even more frustrating or even worse that we're talking about things like effort? Um, and, and do you think that there was maybe a reliance on, on the team's talent that, you mm-hmm. know, maybe, maybe that's a reason why this has been an ongoing conversation? I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out why this is something that keeps coming up. Uh, it shouldn't keep coming up, you know. Um, the, the Hall of Fame status and all that stuff, you know, it shouldn't matter. You know, it's how bad do we want to win every night, you know, and how consistent are we going to be? And we haven't been really consistent, you know, all year with that. So uh, we got to figure out a way to change that, you know, somehow, some way. It has to change or we're going to, you know, keep having these, you know, two games where we play pretty good and then four games where our defense is not, you know, a subpar. Two, two seasons ago when, when, you, when you came back the first time, that team attacked the regular season with intensity and an energy um, that carried you guys. Uh, this this year it seemed like at the start of the season, the, the talk was always about the playoffs and was always about you know, big picture stuff. Um, mm-hmm. Do you think, in hindsight, was is that a problem that that was the case that it wasn't more the kind of same sort of like let's win tomorrow mentality that existed a couple of years ago? Uh, yeah, you, you know, you got a you know good point. Um, disappointed losing like this, um, but you know the good thing about it is we play in a couple of days. We got a chance to redeem ourselves. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, the conversation about playing better defense, we shouldn't have to have that conversation. You know, we should all be tired of hearing it and, you know, make a difference. Well, you guys have had such a big picture mindset this year, like Dan was saying. Um, we're past the midway point now. Is there, is there still time to have that big picture mindset and be below 500 or? Oh, uh, no doubt. You know, uh, can't stop believing that you're going to win, you know, and just say, ah, fuck it, let's give up. Um, so, yeah, you know, we know we've put ourselves in a, you know, pretty tough predicament. Um, but um, all it takes is a couple games and some good energy and some positivity. So um, it's got to stay as positive as we can, you know. Can't allow any of the outside noise, you know, from anybody to, uh, yeah, that's a lot of outside noise <laughs> and stuff like that. We can't allow that to, uh, you know, really affect us and affect, you know, the journey. Um, you know,
know, we know every team that we play is going to try to shoot lights out. They're going to play the best that they can, you know, because they want to they want to see us fall. And, you know, as it should be, you know, you shouldn't just expect go out there and expect us to win. But teams are coming at our necks and, you know, we got to we got to change that mentality. We got to start hitting first. Wrap up with Kyle on Zoom. Dwight, um, you know, both of the last two seasons you've been here, you've been, you know, viewed as this energy guy and a guy who can kind of bring, um, you know, that extra jolt night to night. Is it personally kind of vexing for you when the team has those shortcomings? And do, and do you feel challenge is kind of maybe an energy leader to to kind of figure out ways to inject that? in this team? Uh, well, all of us got to bring energy, you know. Uh, can't just be one or two people, you know. So um, all of us got to have the same mindset, you know. Um, we're a team, and um, it's going to take all of us to win, you know. Obviously, I pride myself on energy and effort and intensity. Um, so, uh you know, it hurts to lose a game like this, especially with us not playing with the energy that we need to. Uh, but, uh, I mean, at, at this point, the game is is over with, you know. Um, we can hold our heads or we can get in the gym tomorrow, try to figure out a way to get better and come back for the next game and, you know, do it all over, you know, try it again. Thank you, Thanks, Recording stopped.